Hey guys, and welcome back to RotarySwing.com. I'm your instructor, Chris Tyler. Have you been battling getting yourself into a really good backswing position? If you notice that your right elbow maybe gets a little bit deep, or maybe your hands and arms get really trapped in behind your body? Well, I got fantastic news for you today. I'm gonna teach you a really simple drill that's gonna train your arms to move into a really good spot at the top of your swing every single time. Today's drill, we're gonna be talking about the left thumb and your right ear. It's, it's gonna seem really simple. We're just gonna be focusing on how to train your left arm properly to help get you into a good spot at the top of your swing that you can leverage for more club head speed and more efficiency. Now, if you wanna see a, a great way to train your right arm, we have a great premium video on our website that talks about the three primary functions of the right arm. We call it the governor of width. I'm gonna go ahead and show you a preview at the end of this video on how to train the right arm, but our focus is gonna be the left arm predominantly today. And if you wanna see that video in its entirety, 100% free, then go ahead and click the link in the description below, or you can go ahead and click the video at the end of it, and it will take you over to the website where you'll be able to sign up for a free membership. You'll be able to watch that video in its entirety, and I guarantee it, you will be on plane every single time you start to swing the golf club. Okay guys, so I'm gonna show you a really simple way to start getting your backswing into a much better position at the top so that you're not having to fight with your golf swing and have to make a lot of compensations. Now this drill is really designed for those players that really fight with getting a really flat or a deep position with their hands and their arms or even possibly get that flying right elbow. Now why is that a bad position to you at home? Well, here's what I want you to think of is that our hands and arms get behind us or a little bit deep and we've got to recover from this position. Well, there's two ways to really recover from this position. Either A, we're going to do like most amateur golfers do and that's throw the club way over the top and then we're going to get into that really scoopy position that doesn't really have a lot of speed. Okay, or you're gonna spin your body really hard, which is gonna help the hands and arms move back out in front. Those two things can cause drastic ball striking mistakes. So here's what we're gonna do, is we're gonna give you a simple drill on how to train your left arm to help you move into a good spot at the top. So what I want you to do, is we're not gonna do it with a club first. I want you to go ahead and take your setup. Okay, put your right arm behind your back. And what you're gonna, your objective here is, is to make sure when you swing up to the top, your left arm, you're gonna go up to the top and you're gonna to try to make your left thumb feel like it's going in your right ear. Okay, you can keep your left arm pretty straight here. Passively straight is the best word for it. We don't need to be ramrod straight. I want you to do 50 to 100 reps of this. I feel like my left thumb's going in my right ear. Once you do enough reps of that, add the golf club back to the mix. Left thumb right in my right ear. Okay. Complete another 50 to 100 reps of this then slowly put your right hand back on the golf club and train that properly. Once you start to do enough reps of this, you're gonna see that you get into that perfect backswing position every single time. So now I'm gonna show you that preview of that right arm video. This is gonna teach you if you've been battling with maybe that flying elbow position, I'm gonna show you three key ingredients that are gonna allow you to get the golf club on plane every single time. Okay guys, so before I include this preview of the three functions of the right arm, I wanna let you know if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post those up below. I'll help you out as best I can. The more we keep it social, the more we learn. Also, do me a favor and click the like button below. And if you have not already subscribed to our channel, go ahead and click on this button on my hand right now. That's gonna give you notifications anytime we put out any of our newest, latest free content for you at home. Let's get out there and play some great golf this year. It's almost gonna look like your right hand is like a support brace for your left arm at the top of the swing. So again, let's walk through this, okay? Elbow right at the base of the chest, flex my arm, allow the club to just kind of rest in the right hand. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab it with my left hand, okay? Keep my left arm fairly straight and relaxed. I'm gonna go into my golf posture, and then what I'm gonna do is hold my arms. Don't allow your arms to fall or sag. Hold your arms where they are. 